Hey everybody, welcome back for another exciting Vesta tutorial. Today we are going to be making a multi-layer graphene structure and we are going to be intercalating it with lithium ions. This has application in, uh, I guess, next generation batteries. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of, a lot of videos coming out and I want you to get to them first. Also, if you haven't checked it out yet, I have a beginner tutorial series that I'm starting. So be sure to check that out in the playlists. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is open up a unit cell of graphite that I happen to have. And in another video, I think uh, about 10 videos back or so, I, uh, I've i actually done a lot of with this. So I, I have a few videos where I use this uh, unit cell extensively. If you're wondering where I get these unit, cell from, uh, unit cells from or how to basically use Vesta in general, please, please check out my beginner tutorial series. I might move fast in these videos to try to cram a lot of information in. And you know, if you need something a little slower pace, please check out those videos. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to expand this so that I have approximately four layers. So I'm gonna do that by going to edit, edit data, unit cell, go to transform. I'm actually gonna make it a two by two by two supercell. So press okay, yes, apply. Let me turn off this volume. So here we have our graphite supercell. And um, what I'm gonna do is basically, I am going to just save this as a VASP. So file, export data. I'll call it graphite222.vasp, save, Cartesian coordinates. Okay, I'm gonna exit out of here. Now I'm going to open up graphite. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to intercalate our um, lithium ions. Now, basically we have a lot of options of where we can put them. I think a good place is maybe a little bit on top of these um, graphene uh, circles here. So let's go ahead and do that. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go to edit, edit data, Structure parameters, new, and we're going to make this new atom lithium, and this will be the lithium one as a label. Now, when we look at this unit cell, we have to understand where our axis is. So, if you can just see it here, this basically is our zero 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 coordinate. So, if we do half an A, then a quarter in B, we should end up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Half an A, quarter and B, see where we are. Yep, right there. And now we wanna be a little bit higher because um, there's gonna be a lot of electron, electron repulsion in this ring. So let's make it uh, 0, 0.0, let's say three. Uh, let's go a little higher. Remember this is in unit cell coordinates. So if, if I were to do like, you know, uh, 0 0.5 it would put me up here right so and we'll do that a separate time so I'll do 0, 0.0 uh, let's try 0 0.1 just to try it so that's okay if you want to check it press apply okay and so if you're unsure go to space filling and actually that that looks pretty good um, yeah, so I'm going to go back to ball and stick. That looks pretty good. And go back to edit, edit data, structure parameters. Scroll down to lithium. And now we're going to add it to this other side. So we're going to go to new. Now we'll call this lithium 2. And instead of being 2, 5, and B, it'll be 7, 5, and B. Press apply. Perfect. There we are. Now for the next layer, let's go ahead and do new. Actually, we're gonna do two more. So we'll do lithium three. And we'll call this one lithium four. And we are going to make this 0.6 in Z. Oops, I guess this didn't save. Lithium three at 0.6. And then we'll do lithium four at 0.6. Wait, what 
why didn't it? Oh, I have point uh, two five. That's why. So we need a point two five in Y. Perfect. Okay. Very nice. Now let's say we want to put sodium on this layer. Now what we can do is we can go to new. And you can see that we're going to want to be now half in B. So half in A, half in B. And I'd say about 0 0.35 in C. And we'll call it sodium, sodium 1. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we'll go up one more. So instead of 3.5 for sodium 2, we're going to make it, um, hmm, what should we make it? 7, should we make it 8? Looks like we need to make it a little more, maybe 8.5. Eight, eight, yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so I think more or less you can get the gist of it, but we still have to add the vacuum. So now let's press, press apply one more time, press okay. Now what we do is go to edit data, bonds, delete the bonds, press okay. Now we're going to delete this top layer here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to file, export data. We'll call this multi-layer graphene, lithium, sodium, intercalant, and we'll call it dot. Um, it actually has to be an XYZ. So save is an XYZ. Save. No. And then also what we're going to do is we're going to go to export data. Actually, no, what we can say here, let's go to our, our viewer. Now let's go to this XYZ file. We have 86 atoms in our XYZ. So go back to your 222 VASP now. Paste in the new coordinates. Now let's recall we have 86 carbon, we have not 86 carbon, we have 86 atoms. And we have six, six of them are the um, earth metals. So what we do is we realize that we then have 80 carbon, four lithium, and two sodium. And what we're gonna also wanna do is we're gonna add vacuum in the uh, C dimension. We're gonna wanna add about maybe 15, 10, 15. So let's add uh, 12 and a half. So let's add that half, that would bring this to eight, and 12 would bring this to 25. So then we're going to save this and we're going to reopen it now. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Here is our final structure. And what we have is basically four layers of graphene on layers two and four. We have sodium or no, sorry, lithium. And on layers one and three, we have a sodium ion. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, please leave comments down below and hit that subscribe button if you have not hit it yet. And if you have any suggestions or you know, say, hey, I want you to make this video, let me know and uh, maybe I will. Okay, take care.